podcasts on unctv.org are made possible through the financial contributions of viewers like you, who invite you to join them in supporting UNCTV. Greensboro-based RF Micro Devices is a global leader in design and manufacture of high-performance semiconductor components. You'll find their products in cell phones, wireless infrastructure, and even the aerospace and defense markets. RFMD President and Chief Executive Officer Bob Brugworth recently stopped by our studios to tell us more. Mr. Bob Brugworth, welcome to North Carolina Now. Thanks for having us today, Mitch. Now, you're the president and CEO of RF Micro Devices, and you develop as well as manufacture semiconductor components. Now, what are some of the items that your products go into that people use every day? You know, Mitch, I guarantee you use our products every day. I'm going to bet you have a cell phone. And, you know, we make a part that actually connects the cell phone back to the cell tower. We also make a part that connects the cell tower back to the phone. You may even have a computer or a tablet collects cellularly or over Wi-Fi. We connect again back to the station and then back to the device itself. This would be two examples. Now, what are some of the things that folks may not be aware of? We're also in uh, cable TV line amplifiers. That would be the part that actually sends the signal from outside your home to your home. It actually uh, also helps increase the bandwidth so that you can get more digital channels. And then we also make components on your set-top box when you want to send the signal back to your cable provider to send you the next program. When you think of semiconductors, I mean, it's, it's big business, but what are some of the trends that drive your business? Yeah. We watch three macro trends. One is connectivity, one is mobility, and one is energy. When we look at connectivity, if you look at the number of devices today that are connected to the internet, it's pushing six billion. But if you look at where we think this is gonna go, it's more like 60 billion. We have a saying, if it draws current, it's probably going to be connected. Now, from a mobility perspective, if you think about the phone, we used to go to a place to make a phone call. Now we call a person. If you think about your data today, we used to go to a place to access the Internet. Today, we carry the Internet in our pocket, in a cell phone, or in our tablet. So you see the transition is people are moving from a fixed place to a mobile place. And that's what leads us to the third thing. What it has to do with is energy and conserving energy. In an energy-constrained world, efficiency matters. And we make semiconductor devices that are more efficient or consume less electricity. We also help monitor energy consumption through the smart grid. And a third area we're investing in is the creation of energy through concentrated photovoltaics. But that's the three macro trends that we follow. RF Micro Devices is headquartered in Greensboro, but you have over 27 locations in 11 countries. Let's talk about the workforce uh, of your company. How important is your workforce in making sure that you develop the products that you develop? Yeah, well, we've got a business strategy that's led by product innovation and becoming a product leader. And innovation comes from your employees. We actually take 15% of our R&D dollars and create world records every day. And that's what these people are chartered with. And that creation comes from people working together and providing them a work environment where they can show what they can do and give them the tools to do their jobs. So it's very important. But as you pointed out, it is a global business. We export 90% of what we manufacture. So we have people designing and supporting our products all throughout the world. Now, with all of your business, about 90% of your business going out, you're headquartered in Greensboro, North Carolina. What makes Greensboro, as well as North Carolina, unique to RF Micro Devices? Yeah. First, I have to admit, we like calling North Carolina home. Our founders are from the area, and what we found is North Carolina is a great place, great business environment. We're able to attract employees from all over the United States, and in fact, all over the world, and they like calling North Carolina home. And of course, a lot of companies have been dealing with the economic crisis. How have you been affected by this situation? Yeah. I think most businesses have been impacted by what's been going on with the Great Recession a little bit back and just some tough macroeconomic times. We've been very fortunate. When I talked about those three macro trends, if you think about it, people are still buying cell phones. 
They're upgrading to devices that, again, can be mobile data opposed to voice. That actually is more content of those things that we make. And there's new categories coming out, like tablets, not just notebooks. Again, more opportunity for us. We're actually growing. And in fact, we're continuing to add to our payrolls around the world, also here in North Carolina, with engineering and technical people who support our customers to make those wonderful products that you and I as consumers enjoy. You had talked about this earlier because your company is dealing a lot in green products. Explain further what, what you're doing. Yeah, from a green perspective, what we look at is what can we help our customers or consumers conserve energy and also create energy. And I'll give you one example. I talked about the line amplifiers for cable TV that send the signal to your home. We have introduced a new technology called gallium nitride. It's a compound semiconductor technology and it uses 20% less electricity. So if you want to think about green, those line amplifiers that are sending that TV signal to your home are on seven by 24 and are much more efficient. We're also developing with a uh, research work with the National Renewable Energy Lab, concentrated photovoltaics. So that's where you take the sun, put it through roughly like a magnifying glass, place it on the semiconductor and create electricity coming out the other side. So we're creating energy as well. RF Micro Devices is celebrating its 20th anniversary this year. Congratulations. Thank you. And of course, through, well, since the 20 years, semiconductors have changed. What is the next evolution for semiconductors? Yeah, I think that's a great question. I, I want to share with you a, a phone from about 20 years ago. So if you look at this and you look at this, I don't think 20 years ago we expected a device to look like this. But what I can tell you is we continue to innovate. We continue to make things smaller, cheaper, and faster so that the user or consumer has a much more positive experience with using these devices. Again, going back to staying connected, being mobile, and consuming less energy. Let's talk about expansion. Any ideas of expansion, perhaps as far as places, people, jobs? Yeah, as I said earlier, we're continuing to expand globally all throughout the world. We're expanding here in Greensboro. We're expanding in Asia. We're expanding in Europe. What's wonderful about our business is, again, it gets back to the mobility, that today our customers are everywhere and they manufacture everywhere. But again, most of our manufacturing for our semiconductor devices is done right here in North Carolina. And if our viewers want to find out more about RF micro devices, where can they go? Please come visit us at rfmd.com. Bob Bruggerworth, president and CEO of RF micro devices, thank you so very much for stopping by. Congratulations on your 20th anniversary and continued success to you, sir. Thank you. And on behalf of the RFMD team worldwide, and more importantly, most of those that are here in North Carolina, thank you, Mitch, for having us today. Podcasts on unctv.org are made possible through the financial contributions of viewers like you who invite you to join them in supporting UNCTV.